Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. How does a coroner determine time of death? Greetings, fellow knowledge seekers. Today we're diving into the world of forensics, specifically, how a coroner determines the time of death. It's not as spooky as it sounds, I promise. First up, we have the method of body temperature. After death, the body begins to cool, a process known as algor mortis. By taking the body's temperature and comparing it to the surrounding environment, a coroner can estimate when death occurred. Next, we have rigor mortis. This refers to the stiffening of the body after death, which typically begins a few hours post-mortem and can last up to 72 hours. By examining the extent of rigor mortis, a coroner can narrow down the time of death. Then there's liver mortis, the settling of blood in the lower parts of the body. This process starts about 20 minutes after death and is fully developed within 6 to 12 hours. The presence and pattern of liver mortis can provide clues about the time and manner of death. Lastly, a coroner can also look at stomach contents to estimate time of death. If the deceased had a meal shortly before dying, this could be a useful indicator. But remember, these methods are not 100% accurate and are often used in conjunction with each other to get the most accurate estimate possible. To learn more, check out these links which you can click in the description below and feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.